Good evening, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Wizards Outlook. I call that with Dudley Jr. We got Raymond Lyons and Wilson Tarpe Jr. And again, welcome to, you know, if you guys see us, it means it was probably a Wizards game day. Uh, ordinarily on Tuesdays, we're, we're somewhere else, but you know, kind of off for the holiday break. The Wizards did play their fourth game of this NBA season. They fell to the Bulls tonight, 115-107. Uh, the good news, they didn't give up a fourth quarter lead because they didn't have one. Uh, the bad news, they're 0-4. It was two winless teams, and the Bulls left Washington. Well, they didn't leave because they're going to play on Thursday, but the Bulls left Capital One tonight with a win, with, with a number in their win column. The Wizards are still looking to put a number in that portion of the record. Uh, Ray, we'll start with you and Cardell. Just your initial thoughts on tonight. Um, this, this was a tough one. Uh, the, the toughest one of the season so far. Uh, they they just looked disjointed and they came out flat and it, it lasted the entire game. Um, couldn't find a lineup that worked. Uh, nobody competed on the defensive end. Uh, no sense of urgency. I mean, you you would think they would be chomping at the bits because you know they they're zero and three. They basically blew three games in a row. They you know they got another winless team coming in here tonight. Um, you you would think you wouldn't want to give up the, the the opposing team their first win, but you know it is what it is. Um, you know they still can't defend without fouling. Uh, they can't defend. Period. Uh, Chicago they they showed them no respect at all. It was like. They treat them like a hockey team that pulled their goalie. Like they was just attacking relentlessly. And they they weren't concerned about anything the Wizards was doing on the defensive end. Um yeah, man, it's like typically um, you know, their offense is able to, you know, keep things respectable. But you know, when we saw tonight, you know, if you combine their bad defense on a night when they're offensively futile, it, it gets ugly like it did. Um you know they they made they made the score a little prettier than it than it was at the end, but you know that it was it was still a blowout in my eyes. Um, yeah, man, they they got some soul searching to do. Um, you know, we talked about it the other night. Like this is this is not a Scott Brooks issue at this point. You know, the the folks on the floor got to get it done. Um, you know, they've for for the bulk of the of the season so far. You know, they they've looked well. And, but they just gave up leads in the fourth. In this game, they just had a bad game from start to finish. So, um, yeah, man, uh, they you got about two or three people that are giving it everything they got, and everybody else, they, you know, they they got to do something, man. Like, you know, tonight they just they weren't they weren't moving the ball like they had been. Um, just a lot of bailout threes. Uh, you know, Bertans, he's. He he's got to get something going. Um, he doesn't give you m much or anything at all on defense, and now he's not even producing offensively like he did last year. So <laughs> something's got to give, man. Um, we saw at the end of the game, Russ was visibly frustrated, uh, understandably so. I mean, but he's not blameless either. But that's a conversation for another day. But all in all, man, it's yeah. You know, this this was a tough one to watch. I, I I just couldn't. The clock wasn't moving fast enough for me tonight, man. It's, it was brutal. Cardell. I agree with you, Raymond. Uh, this definitely is the, the worst loss of the season. Uh, you know, they, they as a team, it's a, it's certain guys that got it, but as a team, they're soft. They're soft mentally. They're soft physically. And they soft emotionally. Even in the first half, they were flat. And you can see Rush trying to fire him up. Yo, what y'all doing? Like, compete, compete, compete. You could just tell. And he's trying to show the way. He's trying to talk to him. It didn't click until the second half came. And they was looking at, yo, we might actually go down 0 4. Well, yeah. Because the Bulls were competing. And then the two most glaring issues that's been there from day one turnovers and. The, the lack of defense, man. I mean, they scored, the Bulls scored 23 points off their turnovers, just stupid turnovers. And this is where Westbrook and Bill got to take a lot of the blame because I think they combined for 11 of the 23 turnovers. Russ had six and Bill had five. 
you can't have that from your all-star backcourt, even if they're handling the ball a lot. You just it was a lot of it was just careless, John. Like, you know, Bill Dog, don't get me wrong, he can get it, but he can get it done. But he's he's too careless with the ball coming off the handle. It's too cute. You know, where guys can come from behind, even if he gotta be come from behind, knock the ball loose, hit his arm. You know the ref is not gonna call everything. So you when you driving and stuff, you gotta learn to protect the ball and, and um play as if the defender is get to you if they're coming from behind and trying to strip you and make a play on you and stuff. And we all know Russ, honestly, throughout his career, despite the triple doubles and stuff, man, uh, he hasn't been a, a pure point. You know what I'm saying? His some of his passes, sometimes those some of them turnovers, it's like, dude, like, what is going on? You know what I'm saying? And then you're in a hole, you already can't stop anybody. You're giving them another chance to score on you. That's how they're down big, you know, to start the game. Uh, and what I mean by tough, when you get down, you don't just kind of just go through the motions where it looks like, oh, here we go again. You just deflate it. You still continue to fight. Russ continue to fight. Thomas Bryant continue to fight. Obviously, Brad's going to continue to fight. I can't really say that for anybody else. I know uh, I know DJ, but he's a rookie. He, he's going to compete, but he's a rookie. He, he's still trying to figure stuff out. It's a full game of his career. But everybody else, I can't say they're competing, man. I'm just going to be honest. You know? And that's disheartening when you're going against a team that's 0-3, just like you, in your building. You know what I mean? Um, you know, it's, it, it's bad, man. And I hate – I hate that people gonna look at Scott Brooks and stuff for this. Like I, you know, what I was saying, though, I like they keep they they gonna get him fired playing like this. It, it's they gonna get him fired, man, because it would be nothing. It would be no reason to keep him around. But if you if if you the players, man, you got some pride, man. You you gotta have some pride. Like this is you have no business losing to this team. I'm sorry. You just you just don't. You got two. You have a former MVP. Both of y'all are NBA. Both of y'all all star caliber guards. They don't have nothing like that on the Bulls. Y'all two should have won this game just off of principle, just off of, man, you, you you should know what my resume is. Don't play with me. Y'all young boys don't play with me. We're going to get this W, keep it moving. And it's not like that, man. And like you said, Ryan, man, it, it's, it's an issue across the league. You got to stop paying so much for specialists, man. <laughs> I mean, we got to get back to getting basketball players, dog. Because, I mean, like I said, you want dimensional and you don't need to do your job. You hit a few threes and everybody acting like you the second coming of Steph Curry or Clay or Reggie Miller or something like that. But then on defense, so you come to game, you fool. Like, you literally fool. They're coming at you. Every play gets you in a foul show, gets you off the court. So you're useless for what you're getting paid to do. You know what I'm saying? I mean – Rui need to hurry back, man. I don't know. I mean, look, <laughs> he got to hurry up. He, man, he better wash out his eye, do something, though. He got to hurry up because this ain't, this ain't going to make it. By the time he come back, it's, it might be changes, serious changes, though. So, man, yeah, it, it was it was tough. It was tough to watch. Yeah, just to piggyback off you guys, I think my biggest thing was just uh, the carelessness with the basketball and the lack of a, the lack of a sense of urgency. For a team that has zero wins, how can you find a way to come? Like Cardell, you said they came out flat. How could you? You can't even afford to come out flat. How is that even a thing? Like you should have won. You played prior to tonight. You played three games where you lost the games in the same quarter, just literally the same way to different to two different teams, right? With that in mind, I would think it'd be in your best interest, you know. We're going to get through these three quarters and finish strong. How the heck do you end up down heading into the fourth? And then by then, you know, we're talking about, uh, that's all, I, I laugh with Drew Good and stuff that, well, you know, the Wizards are the better team. I mean, that's all well and good if we're talking about it on paper, and that's great. But, yeah, I'm, I'm watching a game, and I can't tell. <laughs> like, I can't tell. Like, it's, and this is the thing. The Bulls picked higher than you did. This, this like – like, who are you to look down on them? And then secondly, they got a bunch of dudes that you didn't want. And it's not All like, right. yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, so again, if they they have your leftovers or some of your errors in the past or whatever, how do you get beat by them? Otto came off the bench. That's probably the best 15 minutes of his career in the first half. 15 points in 14 minutes. 
That was crazy. Otto doing that? And then the whole, the second half, we didn't get nothing from him. You got Sato getting to the rim at ease where I rem- like, again, I'm old enough to remember Sato being here. He was a solid peep, but one of the things he, he didn't really do well here was get to the basket and shoot. And, and some of the things he was doing tonight, it was like, really? That, that's who's knocking down the corner threes for you? I don't understand how people are that wide open. I mean, I know why, because you're not competing on that end. And like Cardell said, the lack of trust defensively leads you to looking like that. It's not like the outside of Levine, it's not like the Bulls have a bunch of knockdown shooters. But when your defense looks like that, people get comfortable. Ray, you talk all the time, you know, on, on different programs we're on. You know, when you let a team hang around, they get comfortable. It's hard to turn mm-hmm. the confidence off after they've been comfortable for three quarters. You can't all of a sudden just turn their water off where it's, there's been no resistance for three quarters. They were unbothered already. So, I mean, it's one of those things. And in, in with the Brook thing, clearly no one here is saying he's the greatest coach in the NBA, top five coach, top ten, none of that. But the defensive thing, that's not on the coach, man. Y'all getting paid. Like, like, you, like you said, where's the pride? And I don't know, maybe staying in front of your man. You, you know TB is not a big shot blocker back there, but you're not even giving him a chance to protect the rim when it's open season uh, from a driving lane standpoint. What is this been? I, I feel like, again, I probably need to go look. I feel like he's had four or five fouls in every game of this season. At least the last two. He's on. Uh, Thomas Bryant. So he's, yeah, he's trying to help other people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So again, they get like, him a foul trouble. He's producing. He, he he would probably average a double double if he could stay on the floor, but he can't. <laughs> Every time he get going, he, he, somebody, he's somebody, up other somebody guys. Yep. Yeah, it's it's, and that's the thing. Again, it got to start somewhere from a pride standpoint. You go, you gonna you're gonna have to want to defend. And this is the thing. You got you got the Bulls again on Thursday, man. I think you got Minnesota and Brooklyn coming up next. And depending yeah, on how the schedule right. falls, I know. You know, with Brooklyn, you might miss those two dudes on there, or you might catch both of them dudes on there. And even if they're not there, how are you playing defense? Brooklyn's others are better than the Bulls. Yeah. You know, and, and the Bulls just got you out the way. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's, it's tough, man. And, it, and it's simple, too. That's why it's frustrating. Right, look, that. what? Exactly. And, and you also got to look at this. And you- you know, when they be trying to compare errors and stuff like that, all uh, y'all don't have to, y'all have never played the type of previous areas in NBA have played. They played three games and four nights and they look dead. They look absolutely dead today. That's why they were flat and they had no legs. But at the end of the day, no one cares because the Chicago Bulls playing, everybody in the same boat, they playing the similar type of schedule as the ground right now. You playing like how it used to be back in the day. And and honestly, you're at home, so you should be good. You know what I'm saying? Like you're at home. Even and it's not like you're in Chicago. You had to take a long trip. I get it. Three games or four nights. It's a, it's a monster. Yeah, but you get paid a lot of money to recover and be ready to go, though. You know what I'm saying? So anybody trying to hear that? Um, and even if you flat, let's say you come out the first quarter, you flat. I get it. Kick it in again in the second quarter, be close, and then finish them off, man. That's how you do it. You see what I'm saying? You've seen across the league fatigue hitting guys early and stuff like that because of the lack of training camp, um, you know, just a lack of a lot of stuff because a lot of dudes haven't really played because of COVID since mm-hmm. early spring, except those that were in the playoffs. And then they're tired because they just coming back off of basically mm-hmm. what, two and a half months, you know what I'm saying, which is not the normal all season. I get it. But these games are, are to be played, they're scheduled, and they count. So you got to figure out a way to win these games. Like you're playing the bottom of the league outside of Philly. Um, it's, it's no reason for that, man. It's just in, – in Orlando, they were playing all team. But, but that's what you're aspiring to be, so they should be evenly matched. And you had chances to win those games. Uh, it's just disheartening, man. I'm looking at the players, man. Like, I mean, look, they're going to have to get in each other's face, man. They're going to have to hold each other accountable. It's going to it's gonna have to be some uncomfortable moments for everybody to get where they need to go because all this kind of tiptoeing around and I will be okay, man. It's just the games. All right. It, like you said, like it's a, it's a lack of urgency, man. Like you gonna look up and it's February, and y'all got like two or three wins, and then it's a wrap. <laughs> and don't man, forget I don't do that urgency thing, man. I, I, go ahead. No, I was just gonna say, and don't forget, you know, 
part of the, you know, and then we're going to end up getting this report. I know Cardell, you said you didn't want to bring it up, but it's going to get brought up at some point if this continues. It's going to get brought up very quickly. Yeah. That's going to that's be a dark cloud over your head the rest of the season. Mm-hmm. Like, you got a little bit of time, dude, and, and <laughs> it's going to be here very quickly because, again, like Cardell said, you haven't had the murderer's row of opponents to start the year. You have not. It's about to come. Like January the first, and, 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 and you gave up. You gave up the um. You gave up your wiggle room. So like those games that you could lose, it could be on a schedule where you know it's an uphill battle. The losses to the Bulls, losses to Orlando. When you got Philly down by double digits, you catch some of these other teams later, and they steamroll you. You're gonna look back to these games again. I'll say another day, you're gonna look back and man. Those those early L's, like I heard what Drew Gooden was talking about. Yeah, you can finish strong. I mean, that sounds great. This is not a regular year. <laughs> it's it's not a good look for anybody to start slow. Like starting slow means at least be five hundred. This is beyond starting slow. All right. So this is this is this is longer now. Yeah, because it's going to happen so quick. Because the games are happening so quick, you're literally gonna look up like y'all said at the end of March. We're 12 games under, and that's that. And some of those 12 games going to be against division folks if you don't get your act together. And look at it this way. And it doesn't matter. And look at it this way. So in January, they have 17 games in that month. 17. It's going to be a hell. They got the T-Wolves, Nets, Sixers, Celtics, Heat, Suns, Jazz, Pistons, Cavs, Cavs again, Hornets, Bucks, Spurs, Rockets, Pelicans, Hawks, Nets. Only like three or four of them games are like teams that may not be in the playoffs, like kind of on a level trying to figure it out like you. Yeah. The rest of them are heavy hitters. They, they, they think they got a shot. Like just and off the no ran off. I was on only – I can only think of Charlotte and Cleveland. That's like even – You got some hope. Yeah, right. The rest of that, man. Detroit. Detroit and the T-Wolves, you right. got some hope. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But then so again, that, yeah. you got to uh-huh. do with Anthony Towns. Oh. And, and he going to eat you up because y'all don't have anything inside that can deal with him. You see what I'm saying? It's just... <laughs> yes. and like you said, Wilson, you can bring up, man, look. I was, look, man, I get it. He messed up and all that, but chemistry is a hard thing to get, man. I would have gave John Wall some time to see where it goes. If it's not going well, then yeah, make the move. Russ ain't going nowhere. And it's not even a thing about Russ. But what I'm yeah. saying is he's not what I was saying from the beginning. I, Russ at all, but he's not MVP Russ no more. He can't even dunk right now. You see what I'm saying? He's not the injuries and the mileage that's taking his toe. He's still effective. He's still going to compete at a high level. But he ain't that dude where – because, see, if he was MVP Russ, they wouldn't be on four right now. He'd have won a couple of them games. He just went off. Like, oh, yeah, I ain't hooping. I'll go get it. We saw him – Literally carry a team to the playoffs when they lost everybody. Kevin, all them, they left. That's MVP rush. That's the level. You see what I'm saying? He ain't that no more. You know what I mean? So I would have gave it some time walk because the chemistry is already there. He know how bad he knows what Brad likes. He knows how to fit. And one thing that John Wall never got credit for, he's one of the best shot blocking point guards I've ever seen. A lot of those little layups at the room, all you need to he would have got a couple of those. And I'd have made the Bulls have to think twice about going in there. Mm-hmm. It'd have made the magic think twice about having to go in there. It changes things when they, he, you know there's guys out there that will hunt you. You see what I'm saying? Little things. And then we all know he's a more pure point than Russ. So he'd have been finding guys, prime positions, ready to score and all that. And then, then he's one of the best in transitions, just like Russ and stuff. And now I think this stage in his career, he's a better shooter than Russ. Like, right? It, it, bro, I don't know, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty, but I was never with that because I was, I felt Russ would be in Houston. You know, he would be there because of his contract. You had time to see what it is to make the move, but you got to start bringing it up because it's not. You can just see right now they're not, they're not clicking at all. And and the other thing Either that hurts so all. much, and the other thing that hurts so much, and and like you said, like like I I'll probably give it some time. This area is really gonna heat up, you know about. That dark cloud's coming, but even even I, I I know we've heard so much like at nausea moments about their similarities, but their differences are huge as well. 
And their differences is we see we we're, we're, we're what we're literally seeing right now is not about the similarities. The differences is what's what's showing out right now, and it, it's 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 hurting. Um, obviously, we're not saying this is the end of the world, but I don't care what they do. You fire Scott, whatever, whatever. If you still not playing That's defense, next coach, next coach not gonna have a chance either. I just don't care. And then even offensively, everything they've gotten to a place right now where everything's so based on a three pointer, it's disgusting. Then the only two players on the team that look like they can hit a mid range is the backcourt. It's easy to guard y'all, and you got a bunch of folks taking threes that shouldn't be taking threes. I can do the math. It's not a good look. It's just bad. You're really <laughs> easy to defend. It's disgusting. Everybody shouldn't be running off pin down. Everybody does turn that way. Right? Just being Don't honest. Be quiet. Don't care what the number is. Right? This is horrible. It's really easy to defend. They're gonna have these analytic folks in my DM. And now it's gonna be <laughs> at, at Willie T speaks at my mono sports. I got time. I won't respond. Um, <laughs> like we saw tonight. That's the thing eating at the foul line. All these big guards and wings you got on your team and you barely get to the line, that makes no sense. And again, that comes from, that's one of those things where just because I got the body type to do it, whatever, some folks a little bit more, it's, they almost built to do it where it's easier. They don't say how to absorb the contact going down there. It's initiated and whatnot. And right now you don't have that here in Washington and they are struggling mightily for it. Because even when they get there, it's not with force. Mm-hmm. You either get there and you miss, or you get there and you finish, or you end up on the ground and we're off in transition, going the other way for an old fashioned three point play because somebody got fouled in transition and you couldn't keep up. And before I get off my little soapbox, all this switching and nobody wants to defend, everyone's going to keep being fooled. When these better teams get here, like you talk about Minnesota, I know young boys coming off the bench. Who on this roster right now is about to stay in front of Anthony Edwards going downhill? Only Russ and TB or Brill will probably take that charge. Maybe Lopez. That's it. If he can catch up. <laughs> this, is, this, this, is, this is like a, this is one of the most consistent things we've seen through four games. And then, like, even that, that three guard lineup, man, throw that thing in the trash. People are <laughs> all three yeah. of them are food. Throw it in the trash. You gotta figure something out because they're literally just like, oh, who, oh, I got a little one on me <laughs> to the basket. Oh, you're bigger than the other one. You can still go with me to the basket. They don't even care which guard it is. They're all small. In the opposing team's mind, Zach didn't care. We going to the cup. You got Shake Milton was going to the cup. Shake Milton didn't care. Marquette was just taking whoever down there with him. MCW was, Cole Anthony was, Kobe White was tonight. <laughs> and we know what the league looks like. Hey, don't lie, right? Ah, it don't. It don't. And that scout report, is, the scout report is, is ruthless, man. When they see your weaknesses, that's the name of the game. I'm going to attack your weaknesses till you adjust, till you show me that becomes a strength. That's the NBA. And they're going to keep going there. I mean, dog, it's dudes on the Wizards that don't even want to, like, they don't even like me a touch on defense. I'm like, how y'all grow up? So I'm like, you, you got to get physical. You know what I'm saying? You, don't, get me, don't get me started, man. It's just, look, man, I, outside TB, um, obviously the backcourt, you know, Denny will compete, but he a rookie. He young. He's still trying to learn. Outside of that, man, you, you don't know. You know, and it's just you don't know, man. You don't know what you're gonna get from the night to night, man. So they got some, they got some serious changes making. Like I said, yeah, these L's keep coming. It's gonna get hot. It's gonna get real. Yeah, Brooks, Brooks is gonna be out of here, and then the chatter. You know, the chatter. Uh, everybody excitement about Wall, uh, not Wall, but Russ and Bill being here. You think Russ gonna want to stay here through this? Do you think Bill gonna want to stay here through this? Uh, that was that was next. Remember, yeah, yeah. That's the, it's a, it's an option out at the leave. It's an option on the. Yeah. Thing. He, he he didn't extend it. He didn't come on, man. Because he he hooping. You don't want to waste your prime years on this. Thing. Like it's just real, man. Like, it's a bunch of projects, man. Like, and I'm not even trying to be disrespectful. Just call it like it is, dog. I mean, you know. With all due respect, I know Rui ain't playing Babango. 
No, I mean, go ahead, man. Yeah, y'all gonna see. Y'all gonna get. Y'all gonna get us banged out here, dog. Go ahead. Only know I'm one way to be. <laughs> it's only. No, I got you. Like, look, with, as currently constructed, there's literally a certain way. Like, there's there's literally a formula that has to occur for you to get wins, and you can't afford to not play defense. That can't be part of the formula. Otherwise, you're in trouble. Because currently constructed, you do not have enough firepower and or wiggle room to get over not playing defense. You just, but here's you just the don't. thing. That's what Bonga is. He does play defense well. But mentally, he be out of position a lot. So they prey on him with the back doors and stuff. It's hard to score him like one-on-one. Yeah, yeah, he slides his feet. He's long. But he he falls asleep a lot. He be looking right at the ball. They go back door. Oh, foul. Oh, oh he made, they make a layup. So it's like, that's why Brooks is shuffling the lineup. That's why I'm like, it's not really him. Cause it's like, well, I put a set of, I put some players in, they only give me something on one end and they don't give me nothing on the other end. Well, let me hurry, put these guys in because of this situation. They give me something on the thing we just didn't have, but now they can't do the other thing. They can't, you know what I'm saying? It's like one group can score, can't defend the other group can, can't def, um, can defend, but they can't score. So he's trying to find a lot of like, damn, like, I mean, it's like as soon as Bill and Russ go to the bench or something to get a breather, man, the, the run just go crazy. All right, they, they ain't even sit down. As soon as they about to touch the seat, come back. Shit, man. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, it's like the, uh, uh, man, look, man, look. you know, the little cartoons where like there's, there's a there's a there's a hole in the boat and they go try to plug it up and another joint pop up. Yeah, it's literally that. Yeah, it's literally that. Look, That's man, literally what it is. Bro, he in a gunfight. So he in a gunfight and he got a bunch of butter knives, dog, and they ain't, you know, just not even it's hard. Not, yeah, it's it's tough. So that's the thing, you know, we're gonna see what ends up happening in the coming weeks and months, obviously. But even if he's gone, like again, with the roster is currently constructed, I'm anxious to see if if nothing changes, right? Like again, you can change some things schematically, even offensively, but defensively, unless unless there's some pride kicks in or some want to. Man, again, Thomas Bryant, it's going to be a long year for TB. You're not going to be able to stay on the floor. Yeah. It's going, I, I feel bad for the and team. Here's the he thing. And help, but that's a lot, man. <laughs> but what, what happens when he got to deal with Cat or Embiid or Giannis or. Hey, he um, got his hand full. Yeah. He can't. I can't help you. I got to stay with this. Otherwise, it's going to look like he murdered me. You see, look, and, and the thing you said about game. switching, that's why uh, I hate switching. The, uh, you brought up switching early, and that's the thing I hate about switching. It's going to, if you are already a bad defensive team, that means you're not communicating, you're not talking. It's mm-hmm. always going to be a mismatch somewhere. It's always going to be one. Like, I remember uh, late in the game, I think it was Garrett Temple, he just ran the court. He just, and they found, I think Cody mm-hmm. found him. He had a wide open layup, nobody in sight. Because of the mm-hmm. mismatch, they calling, right. they not talking, they not communicating, they not pointing. Though I got, I got him, I got him, I got him, I got him. They just running back, looking for a player like it's pickup. Nah, you're right. Y'all pros, man. Y'all should know that. They teach you that in them grade school. Call out, your point, talk. Hell, sometimes, man, if you run into teammate, you see he not moving, you will push his ass over there. Like, go get, get him, <laughs> get in the way, dog. Do something. Yeah. Hey, look, man, they know. Look, they know exactly what it is. Um, the message is not going to change. It hasn't changed in four nights that we've been on here. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't want to play the percentages. We can. It's up to them to change what we're discussing come Thursday, Thursday afternoon or evening or whatever it may be. But they got the Bulls again, and then right after that, I think on Friday they got Minnesota. So they got a back to back. Again, the first thing I want to see. If there's not a sense of urgency, you got you got you got Chicago, Minnesota, a day off, and you get Brooklyn. You better find your sense of urgency, and you better hope that Brooklyn's coming off the back. You better hope that Brooklyn's coming off the back to back, and them two dudes ain't playing. For real, because so they could be zero and seven by Sunday. Ooh, I'm just again, just it's our job to be objective and throw it out there, right? Yeah, you you not, you got you was over here playing with your food at times. And here you are. Here you are. You're here, that's schedule about to tie it up. Here you are. And like you said, here come January. There's more heavy hitters sitting in January waiting for you. 
No. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Yeah, this is about to get about to get sketchy for them, man. They gonna have to find like. Did they, they give up their first to... round when they traded for? Uh, I don't know which first round it was. I know they gave up a one. I don't think it was this year's. Lord. Pretty sure it wasn't this year's. I hope not, man. For it. No, I'm pretty <laughs> sure it wasn't. This year. <laughs> he said, "I hope." Not. <laughs> <laughs> Cause uh yeah this is man this is tough man because it's uh like you said Cardell you could have waited a little bit and now you're here yeah hey, you see what they doing with harder man, teams ain't biting on that man look you gonna hoop you gonna hoop keep your value up and and the league will sort itself out you know some teams that's expected to win won't be winning they're gonna get frustrated they're gonna get desperate all right cool let's go they got some pieces we use that's what you do. It was a and you know what I'm saying? 2023. Yeah. All right, so about like a year. Okay, so they missed it by a year. Same difference because if they don't prove, I've been looking at uh, yeah, and, they they and, and, if, and if a couple players opt out, you're gonna miss that pick. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Bro, I'm, just saying, I'm just saying, man. <laughs> like, All right, y'all. I, I hope you guys. Thanks for tuning in tonight. <laughs> Y'all enjoy Wednesday. Uh, we'll be right back here Thursday. <laughs> it's all to y'all. It's up to the team that you either root for or you just watching to watch, and we appreciate your support. <laughs> we just show up to watch it, and again, yeah. it's up to them to determine the tone and what we're talking about that evening. So <laughs> <laughs> it's up to them, man. Right? Yeah, they got the Bulls again. Uh, but if it, I'll just say this. If they lose to the Bulls come Thursday, that means you got yeah. swept in your first two nope, matches. No. This season against the Bulls and the Magic uh -huh. at home and home and homes and home and homes. All right, just just Boy. throwing that out there because again, like Cardell said, I'll make sure Ooh. Thursday I had that, that uh, January schedule ready to throw up on the screen so y'all can see exactly what we're talking about, man. But um, it's one more thing. Go ahead, go ahead Cardell. Is the ball free? Is he on vacation? Is he, you know? Hey, man. Hey, look. Hey, hold on. Hey, 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 hold on. Hold on, man. Hey, hold on, man. Hey, hey. Hold on, man. My man to live the whole life. He don't need this type of stress in it. Let that man live. He don't deserve hey, this. Like, nope. He's like, I ain't touching that. Hey. Be good over here. Be good over here, dog. Like, I mean, hey, look. He's one year removed from a chip. Let that man live. Cardell said, hey, what you charge for consulting, huh? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not saying you were me, but if you were me, what would you do? <laughs> nah, leave that man be, man. <laughs> but again, yeah, yeah, exactly. what is, man. as always, <laughs> at the Focus TV on all your social media platforms. We'll see you guys on Thursday. Enjoy your Wednesday off because you're going to need a woos off your Wizard fan after these first little group of games. Because I'm going to tell you, right, it's, it is tough to watch. It is, it is, it's, it's getting there already, man. We got a whole bunch more. We haven't even gotten to 10 games yet. It's already wearing on me. So I, I'm going to go ahead and try to go ahead and just uh, let this off, get, get rid of this for a whole day, not think about it, come back with a clear mind for Thursday. And hopefully they give us something, um, something else to talk about. <laughs> Otherwise, again, I'm going to have a schedule up here on the screen for you guys then. For Cardell Dudley Jr., you got Raymond Lyons and Wilson Tarpe Jr., you guys have a great night.